This is Dr. Weber uh, reading his Prostate Cancer Commentary, Volume 177. The subject is Decipher, Predicting Prognosis and Assisting Treatment Decisions. Decipher assays the RNA expression of 22 genes and estimates the rate of distant metastases at five years and prostate cancer specific mortality at 10 years, thus providing risk stratification to assist in treatment decisions. Three examples. One, providing guidance for men newly diagnosed with prostate cancer considering active surveillance. Two, indicating the extent of benefit from the addition of ADT to radiation therapy at post prostatectomy recurrence. And three, predicting the benefit of adding ADT to primary radiation for men with intermediate risk cancer. The decipher score is based on the unique molecular makeup of each man's cancer and performs better in assessing prognosis than conventional tools. For example, Gleason score, NCCA risk groups, and clinical characteristics. The cipher is assessed on surgical specimens or biopsy tissue. It's commercially available, Medicare covered, and updated as new data is collected. First, Decipher, patient selection for active surveillance. The key to appropriate patient selection for active surveillance is an accurate prognosis, which can inform the decision if intervention can be safely delayed. Men diagnosed with low risk cancer, for example, beliefs in three plus three, PSA less than 10 and localized disease, are generally considered appropriate for active surveillance without further evaluation. Favorable intermediate risk cancer, for example, Gleason score 3 plus 4, PSA less than 20, and more extensive disease within the prostate, is a heterogeneous category where decipher can be helpful in deciding suitability for active surveillance. Decipher risk thresholds are 0 to 0 0.45, low risk, 0 0.45 to 0 0.6, average risk, and 0 0.6 to 1.0, high risk. The Decipher report assigns an individual's risk between 0 and 1.0. Him at all address this issue in, quote, validation of the cipher test for predicting adverse pathology in candidates for prostate cancer active surveillance. This was presented in Prostate Cancer on Prostatic Diseases in 2019. The study assessed 266 men with low, 65%, or favorable intermediate risk, 35% cancer with the cipher prior to prostatectomy. The decipher was trained on prostatectomy specimens to predict adverse pathology in the surgical specimen. For example, Gleason score four plus three or higher, advanced local stage or lymph node involvement. These features customarily disqualify men from AS. What were Kim's findings? Quote, a decipher score of less than 0.2 would provide a strong case for patients considering AS, unquote, since only 5% would be predicted to have adverse pathology. Those men with decipher scores between 0.2 and 0.45 have a 95% likelihood of being free of adverse pathology and also are candidates for AS. Quote from Kim, a practical way to apply these cutoffs is to strongly recommend AS for scores of 0 0.2 since 
the risk of adverse pathology is only 5% and recommend definitive local therapy for scores greater than 0.45, where the risk of adverse pathology is 19%. Dr. Feng, Professor of Radiation Oncology, Urology and Medicine, University of California, San Francisco, commented, quote, my approach is to recommend active surveillance for most of my low-risk patients. But if my patients are uncomfortable with that approach, I will order genomic classification. If the genomic risk score is high, I'm more likely to lean toward recommending surgery or radiation. This was quoted from an interview of Dr. Feng presented in Prostate Cancer in Focus. Number two. Decipher post prostatectomy radiation at PSA recurrence. Is adjuvant androgen deprivation therapy of much or little benefit? Men with rising PSAs following radical prostatectomy are customarily treated with a course of radiation therapy. Immediately upon recovery, called adjuvant, or delayed, called salvage usually commence before the PSA rises above 0.5 nanograms per ml. Radiation is customarily accompanied by a variable period of ADT, which confers a survival benefit, but is associated with well-recognized adverse effects of testosterone suppression. Do all men receiving radiation at recurrence benefit equally from the addition of ADT? This was addressed by Dr. Feng et al. in, quote, validation of a 22 gene genomic classifier, he was referring to Decipher, in patients with recurrent prostate cancer, presented in JAMA Oncology 2021. The study reported the outcome of 252 man clinical trial of salvage radiation plus two years of 150 milligrams of the anti-androgen acidex compared with no hormone therapy. The low, intermediate, and high-risk groups comprised 42%, 38%, and 20% of men. Radiation was started at PSA values between 0.2 and 4.0 nanograms per ml. This study retrospectively tested the men's surgical specimen with Decipher and linked Decipher scores to clinical outcomes, such as overall survival, distant metastases, and cancer-specific survival. All men receiving Casadex benefited, but among those receiving the anti androgen Decipher detected a difference in the extent of benefit, comparing men with low dose scores for less than 0.45 to a combined intermediate and high-risk group of greater than 0.45. What did they find? The overall survival at 12 years for the low score group was only 2.4% better for those receiving Casadex, as opposed to no hormone treatment. However, overall survival for the men in the combined intermediate high-risk group receiving Casadex, the gain was 8.9% in overall survival compared to no hormone suppression. For distant metastases in the low-risk group, that is to say less than 0.5, Casadex provided only a 5% gain versus placebo compared to a gain of 15.7% in the group with scores greater than 0.45. In brief, men with low decipher risk scores benefited relatively little from androgen suppression and raises the issue of whether that small gain outweighs the toxicity of ADT. It should be said that in the US, the hormone suppression would generally be done with Lupin or a similar agent. Additionally, they found 
When early salvage radiation was commenced at PSA less than 0.7 nanograms per ml, those with low decipher scores of less than 0.545 gained even less from adding hormone suppression to the development of distant metastases, that is to say 4.6 versus 12.2% for the higher score. This information can be the basis of a discussion for the benefit versus harms of adding hormone suppression to radiation at recurrence after prostatectomy. Next and last, the cipher. With primary radiation for intermediate risk cancer, do all men require ADT? <clears throat> Background. It has become standard practice to offer a four to six month course of ADT in association with primary radiation for unfavorable intermediate risk prostate cancer as defined by NCCN and withholding it for favorable risk disease. This practice is based on a study by Zimstead et al presented in JAMA Network 2020. They found the benefit of adding ADT in favorable risk patients was insignificant, but adding ADT in unfavorable risk patients, the 15-year rate of distant metastases was significantly improved. It was 10% with the addition of ADT versus 24% for those not taking ADT. Open question. Would the benefits and harms of ADT be better distributed if prescribed on the basis of decipher scores as opposed to the NCC favorable slash unfavorable stratification? A study presented at ASCO 2022 offered guidance as to which men with intermediate risk prostate cancer were sufficiently treated with radiation without ADT and by implication, who might benefit with supplemental androgen suppression. The work was reported by Dr. Dan Spratt, professor and chair of the Department of Radiation Oncology at Case Western Reserve School of Medicine in quote, validation of the performance of decipher biopsy genomic classifier in intermediate risk prostate cancer, unquote. At 10 years, 5% of men with low decipher scores experience distant metastases compared to 26% with high decipher scores, suggesting that ADT might be appropriate in the decipher high risk group. Looking to the future, and the possibility of a new standard of care. A clarification of the comparative gains achievable in the favorable and unfavorable risk prostate cancer with the addition of ADT will likely result from the ongoing NCT clinical trial entitled Guidance, wherein men with intermediate risk cancer with low decipher scores will be randomized between radiation therapy plus six months of ADT or no ADT. Men with high decipher scores will receive radiation and be randomized between ADT alone or ADT combined with darolutamide. So the bottom line, decipher a genomic risk stratifier that estimates prognosis on the basis of the unique molecular characteristics of a man's prostate cancer can offer guidance in treatment decisions.